All right, we're here with the St. Edwards Hilltoppers following a 13-9 win over Lubbock Christian in the 2018 Baseball Harlan Conference Championship game. Head coach Rob Penders in the center to our left is tournament MVP Derek Ramos, and to our right is pitcher Jake Davis. Coach, uh, just give us a couple of thoughts on the game. Yeah, I mean, it was obviously a little back and forth there at the beginning. You guys uh, looked like everybody had a little jitters perhaps or just kind of nervousness to get through and see who's going to score first. But once we got beyond that, then it kind of opened up a little bit, and we were fortunate enough to – get more runs on the board than they did, but they never quit, and they're always a, a good quality team and a good quality program. And, um, you know, I, I can't be more proud of our guys, though. These guys have been through so much adversity this year and, and have fought through everything and, and uh, come out here, number one, to be a number one seed was extremely remarkable. And then to do this this weekend is, is just an unbelievable thing and it's something that um, I'll remember for a long time because this I never thought we would even be here about a month ago, let alone win the thing. So, uh, that's a testament to them. It's a testament to our assistant coaches and, and to everybody around the program and the pride that these guys take in, in doing this and winning this. And you know, when you do it six times in a row, um, you have a lot of different guys doing it, and it's just really neat to see. And it's, and it's something now that uh, um, you know, I don't want to say we expect it because you never expect it, but when you when you've done it enough, it, it becomes habit, and that's kind of where we are right now. And that's what's so great about it is that these guys have continued to work to accomplish this, and it's not, not easy to do it not in this conference. Talk about uh, how important it was for, for your offense to be able to, um, to strike the way that they did after, uh, after <clears throat> Lubbock was making Blake work out there those first yeah. few innings. Yeah, yeah. No, that was, that was a huge momentum swing, I think. I think everybody in the ballpark saw it. I mean, we had that big inning, and, and that kind of took the pressure off of our pitchers and allowed Josiah to come in there and do his job. And I think, you know, you could look at it, the job that he did kind of let us relax a little bit and not have to press so much because we knew he was going to hold him down for, you know, maybe one time, possibly two times through the order the way he was pitching. So that let us breathe and let us kind of get to their guy. And we had a, a big two out inning against him and, and were able to take some advantages of, of a couple of mistakes that he made. So it was, uh, it was advantageous. And, and that's what you have to do in tournament baseball is you have to just keep fighting and fighting. And once you get that moment to do it, um, you've got to strike. And we were fortunate enough to do that this whole weekend. Derek, talk about what was working so well for you guys offensively, not just uh, out there today. Obviously, yesterday, 21 runs, and, and the game before that, six runs, your lowest you know, run output of the, of the uh, tournament. What was just working uh, so well for you guys offensively? Um, I really think we just stayed within ourselves. We weren't getting too big. Um, we've been doing everything that we've been <coughs> practicing, you know, whether that's a uh, two-strike approach, hitting the ball the opposite way, separating balls and strikes. I think we really did a great job of that. Um, you got to tip your hat off to the pitchers from LCU. They're good pitchers. So, I mean, we kind of just did what we normally do, and that was it. And what did it mean to you to be able to come out the, your, your senior year, right, and, and do this uh, do this during this tournament, the, just the performance that you had? <laughs> um, you know, it was, uh, it was great. You know, I, I mean, I played the way I normally play, and I wasn't trying to do too much. And... You know, a lot of it has to go towards the guys behind me, you know, whether it's on the field or in the lineup. Um, everybody was doing their job, and I kind of fed off of other people. Other people fed off of me, and that's the way it works. Jake, what was it about this team this year? Uh, Coach mentioned that, you know, he, he wasn't sure that you guys were going to be here a month ago. He started conference, I believe, 2-7 and seven or 3-8 and eight or something like that. Then finished the regular season 13-3. and three. Um, Just what was it about this team um, um, that just – uh, that was able that you guys were able to have, have that second half turnaround in conference. Um, I think it honestly started a couple weeks ago, prior to the St. Mary's weekend. Um, we had a catcher in a D game hit a triple, and I got you know got the the crowd fired up. We got the players and I got fired up, and I think we just rode that momentum into the St. Mary's weekend, and you know that was kind of the series that we really turned it around. And since then, I mean, this we've been firing in all cylinders, playing as a team, hitting as a team, pitching as a team, and just doing each and every person's job and doing them well. Who was that? Siegel. Yeah. Siegel. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Uh, coming into to a game like this, just what is the mindset knowing that the you know the offenses are just going crazy? I um, mean, really the whole weekend knowing that, that the the wind blowing out to left field. What's your mindset as a pitcher coming in? Um, whenever you know you have to come in, you have to you have to get that out. Um, you just you got to come in and throw strikes. You know, it's something that at times I've struggled with this season. But it's you know if you sort of go back in that game or any game this weekend, you know, if we start ahead, good things typically happen for us. And we got a little bit of trouble there late in the game. We fall behind batters, and you know they're a good hitting team. They're going to capitalize on the mistakes that we make. So I was just focused on, you know, specifically that first batter, like get this guy out. You know, let the defense work, and they made some great plays behind. Right, you guys are obviously going to the tournament. Yeah. Um, 
just talk about what the what this next the next couple hours or a couple forty eight hours is figuring out where you're going to be seated and um, and and what you guys are looking to forward to there and then also going back to the tournament. You just enjoy it uh, right now. I mean, this is relaxing now. And this is fun. I mean, just to get the postseason baseball and play our, our conference tournament here at this beautiful ballpark and. You know, so Cleburne doing this for us is a, is a great opportunity and it gives our guys a, an environment that allows them to go to a regional and, and not feel feel out of whack, you know, because it's a neutral site essentially for us. So that's a great thing to begin with. And then, you know, like I said, we just enjoy this one. Uh, worry about the tournament when it comes up and we get those seedings tomorrow. We, that's out of our control. We've that haze in the barn. You just kind of wait and see how it shakes out. And whoever we play, we're going to play. We're going to throw Tanner and, and get after him. And, and that's you know just what we did in this tournament. And, um, anytime you win a tournament like this, it, it should you know feed into the next one hopefully. And we just want to keep the momentum going. And and uh, that starts usually like I said yesterday with your starting pitching and, and the, the first guy to get on base. So. Uh, that'll be our goal, and, and just to keep playing baseball like we've been playing for the last month. I mean, if we do that, there's no telling where this thing can end.